Hi everyone, in this tutorial I am going to use table mass analysis for a station which its records slightly changed from previous environment. It is because sometimes the current environment is changed due to having a forest or removing a forest or maybe applying a fence. Any factor which is affected on its hydrological uh, environment. We have this uh, example, let's see it. The annual rainfall at X station and the average annual rainfall at 18 surrounding stations are given. That is the data for 18 stations in centimeter. Check the consistency of the record at station X and determine the year in which a change in regime has occurred. In regime has occurred, state how you are going to adjust the records for the change in regime. Determine the average annual rainfall for the period 1952-1970 for the change regime. Let's do it. Already I have this data. Now we have to find cumulative for the X station. How we can do it? You can just insert equal sign, this one, enter, equal to this cell plus this one, enter, just drag. To the end or, or double click on this sign good that's cumulative annual rainfall in centimeter for x station also you have to find for 18 stations how we can do it in the same way equal sign this one enter this time equal sign this cell plus this one enter come to here you can drag it like this or double click on this one good now we have to plot this station and this one how we can do it now just insert for example this one right click select data add data for x for x Select the 18 stations, please cumulative. This one, good. And for this one, for Y, select X stations. Cumulative, good. Serious name, I don't need it. Okay. Now, if you make it somewhat, somehow bigger, from here, insert access title 18 stations cumulative rain fall in centimeter. Okay, this one X station cumulative rain fall centimeter. Good. From here, I would like to add minor grid lining so select this one at minor grid liners good and also i want to format major grid liners change its color to black good for this one again add minor grid liners and also change major grid liners to black to see the difference from here also you can home bolt bolt good now from insert bring a shape on this line draw also another slope insert shape another line shape outline weight to this one good and for this one also it's be red outline height good it's good that's the best fit now we have to find so slope for this line and for this line also bring a rectangle this one right angle rectangle good 
this point good fill no fill shape outline let be red and wait good now I think it's good then insert shape this one good you see we have minor grid lines let me make them change minor grid lines to be visible which color I, sele I select this color good how much lines or spaces we have from here one two three four five six seven seven point nine about seven point nine so insert a text seven point nine you see the unit for horizontal and vertical must be the same you see it's from 100 to 200 here 100 to 200 they have the same scale also I want to add visible minor grid liners which color let be the same color copy this line control copy control V how much cell or space one two three four five six seven seven for this one seven copy this text control copy control V the seven also again because we have two rectangle you see slope for this line and for this line now Control copy control V brings this one from here to here yes how much one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's ten so ten now Remove this, insert text M1. M1 is slope for the red line equal to 10 divide 7.9. 10 divide 7.9 equal to equal to just make it 16. Can bring calculator. Then divide seven point nine equal to one point two six five. One point two six five. Good. Control copy. Control V. M two. Make this one. M two equal to seven. 7.9 is the same for both equal to how much equal to 0 0.886 0 0.886 good now control copy control v adjustment factor equal to m2 over m1 which equal how much it equal m2 which is 0.886 divide 1.265 equal to 0 0.7 0 0.7 good let's insert label chart design from here data label not this one good 
you see changes has occurred from where from 307 you see from here the changes has occurred 307 307 let's see belongs to which year 307 belongs to 1960 i want to insert the text one the regime has changed at year 1960 good now second state how you are going to adjust the recorders for the change in regime okay it's easy how we can do it we have to adjust the data from x station from 952 to 960 how we can do it just equal sign 0.7 times x station this one enter drag it to 1959 because until 1959 it's good so i have to apply only for 1959 that is we have to adjust and from here on just x station as it is because it already has changed it just insert it good drag to the end now we can find cumulative x station adjust it good it equal this one also it equals this one plus this one and double click here that is the adjusted of the data as you see now the data is adjusted for the station x after changing of its environment good it asks us to determine the average annual for the period 1952-1970 for the change region 1952 for 1970 how much year it is 19 years so to average annual rainfall from 1952 to 1970 to 1970 equal to summation which is 469.78 divide by 19 year equal how much 469.78 divide by 19 year it equal 24.7 24.72 centimeter great okay now if we plot another plot between cumulative x station adjusted and 18 station cumulative what it shows as let's see select this one okay control select this one also insert plot you see how the data is adjusted and we have a straight line don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel have a nice time